Hey everyone, my name is Heather. This is Dollar for Dollar. Thank you so much for watching today. Today we are going to show you how you can delete groupings out of your budget or add them in. It's very easy, very straightforward. So if you have not already, go ahead and open your budget or follow along on the app if you have it on your phone. And if you are brand new to this channel, thank you so much for joining today. Um, we talk about investing, personal finances, buying a home, and today specifically budgeting. So if you are brand new, please consider subscribing to the channel and let's get started. Very easy to do and the every dollar budget is to add or delete things when you no longer need them or they don't apply to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and this is a sample budget so it's not going to be a huge deal for me. I'm just going to go ahead and delete an entire grouping and as you can see I have a grouping here for health. There's nothing here right now so I am just going to click into that title. You will see it's been highlighted and then you'll see over to the right you'll see this delete group button. Click that. It'll ask me to confirm or of course I can cancel. I will say yes and now it is gone. It is no longer here. Now if you ever want to add a grouping in you can do that very easily. You just scroll to the bottom. You will see add group and then you have an untitled grouping. So now I can go in and I can name this whatever I want, whatever makes sense for me. So let's just say I decide I'm going to have one called vacation because I decide I want an entirely different grouping. Just hit enter, click out, it's there. And now I can go in and I can add specific items into that grouping and I'm done. Like literally that is all you have to do. And the nice thing about this Every Dollar Budget app is when you do something in this current month, when you're making changes, when you go and you make a budget for the following month, it will bring over everything you've done. So if I go and I click December, it's going to say, hey, you haven't started your budget yet. And it tells me right here, we're going to copy November's budget to get you started. So I only have to delete a grouping once. I should only have to delete it and then add stuff in and then it continues to carry over month over month. So I'll show you real fast. If I scroll to the bottom, now you see vacation, literally everything I just did before. Um, and if by some chance you have already gone in and started the following month's budget and you did not want to do that, if you actually click this reset budget option, it's going to alert you and say, hey, we're going to replace it with the most recent transactions that have been done in the month prior. So that is one way to also do that too. If you want to reset it, it'll revert back to what was just recently changed. And that is it. That is literally all you have to do for you to add a category or to delete a category. Straightforward. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. We're going to do a lot more um, on budgeting and finances, and I'm going to be starting a series here soon about how you can start saving money even when you are making minimum wage and how you figure out your emergency fund and what that should look like. So please stick around. Please look out for those videos, and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next video.